Hello again year one, welcome to today's phonics lesson. I hope you can remember the sound that we learnt yesterday. I wonder if any of you can. Well done, it was the phoneme uh. Can anyone tell me some words with the phoneme uh in? Faster, higher, under, brilliant. Well done for remembering. Okay, let's have a look at some tricky words for today then. I say like, you say. I say if, you say. I say that, you say. I say push, you say. Brilliant, well done. Have a go at practicing those in your neatest handwriting, please. Off you go. Well done. Right, today we have got a grapheme on our board. This grapheme is represented by the sound ear. Just like our ear. Can you say that? Ear, well done. What do you notice about this phoneme? Well done if you notice that there are three letters in this phoneme. Can anyone remember what we call that phoneme when they've got three letters? I'll be really impressed if you can remember. Well done if you said trigraph because it's got three like tri, triangle. Tricycle has three wheels, a triangle has three sides, just like a trigraph has three letters. Okay, right, let's have a go at reading some words with our new phoneme M. So I'm going to get my phonics hands ready. Can you show me your phonics hands? Lovely. Okay, off we go. So our first word, N, mm, ear, near. Well done. Our next word, d, ear, dear. Okay, so this is dear as if when we're writing a letter. Okay, so dear Miss Husband. That's how you're introducing your letter. It's not like dear as in the animal. Okay, that's where it's a little bit tricky. We call that a homophone where it sounds the same, but it's spelt differently. Okay, that's something you learn in year two. So well done. Let's have a look at our next word, y, ear. Year. Okay, I notice that there are only two sounds in each of these words, and ear is usually at the end of the word. But I can think of one word that where, sorry, ear is at the beginning. I'll give you a clue. You wear these in your ears. Well done if you guessed earring. Okay, it's ear ring. So that'll be easy to spell. Right. I have got a sentence that I would like you to read. So here I have got a picture of a car. OK, let's read our sentence. The car is near. Can you spot? Can you find our new phoneme for today? Well done if you noticed ear in near. Now I've got a challenge. I wonder if you can find a new, uh, another, sorry, phoneme that we have learnt recently. Well done if you found ah in car. Fantastic. Well done. So now we'll have a go at some writing. So I've got some pictures here. Notice here that I've only got one box in my phoneme frame. Sorry. Here I have got two boxes. I'm not going to help you for this one. I want to see if you can do it independently. So I would like you to pause me and I'd like you to have a go. Okay, well done for having a go at that. I'm going to get my pen ready and we're going to write it together. So here I only have one phoneme frame at uh, box, sorry. So that must mean that this is ear. So that is a picture of a ear. So we only need one sound for that word. Well done. Here, oh, this lady looks a bit frightened. She looks a bit scared. So maybe she has got a fear of something. So I can hear ear. 
Okay. Let's see if I can remember how to spell our new phoneme. Eh, ah, er, make the sound ear. Well done. I think my handwriting is getting a little bit better on this board, so I'm quite happy with that. Okay. Now we're going to practice writing our own sentence. So I've got a question there at the top. It says, what, oh, that's who, sorry, so what can you hear? So I want you to pause me in a minute and I want you to think about what you can hear at the moment. So I'm going to think now, I'm going to close my eyes, I'm going to think what I can hear. So I live near a busy road and I'm right, I'm sat right next to the window so I can hear the cars on the busy road. Okay, so that's what my sentence is going to be. I can hear the cars on the road. Okay, so that's eight words. I'm going to get my board set up and I would like you to help me write that sentence, okay? Got my board ready. So, who can remember my sentence? Well done. I can hear the cars on the road. So, I've got my capital letter ready. So, I, what do I need in between each word? In the space, well done. I can hear. So, this is where I'm including my new phoneme. So, what can I hear? H, ear hear okay so i've got her and my ear sound use my sound buttons to show that her ear hear i can hear the cars oh cars that's a phoneme that we learned not so long ago ah good I'm going to add my sound buttons there too I can hear the cars on the, okay, now I need to start a new line because I've run out of space, road. Ooh, could anyone help me spell road? R-O-D. That was also another phoneme that we've learned not so long ago. Well done if you said r O D. So our O sound is represented by the O and an A. Well done. So I'm going to add my sound buttons there. Okay, and to finish off my sentence, I need a full stop. Okay, so now I've shown you what I can hear in my flat. What I would like you to do is pause me, think about what you can hear going on. I can also hear my kettle being boiled because I'm about to make a cup of coffee. I can hear a bird tweeting outside. Okay, think about what you can hear and can you write a sentence for me please? Off you go.